Hi you guys, thank you so much for coming to my video. Um, in today's uh, tutorial, we're actually going to be doing eyebrows. Um, it's definitely been a request for quite some time and I've been like promising that I'm going to do an eyebrow tutorial. Everybody wants to know like how to get their eyebrows on fleek. So if you guys want to know like my whole eyebrow routine um, and what I do for my eyebrows to, you know, get them like flawless, um, then you guys definitely want to make sure that you're watching this video. Also, I did do a makeup haul for um, the previous video. So if you guys want to see like what's going to be in the giveaway, definitely watch that video. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so there's three things that you're going to need. Um, you can use whatever kind of product that you use. I personally um, use pomade. So the first thing that I'm going to um, make sure that I have is the Dip Rob Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade Chocolate. Um, a little goes a long way with this pomade. And then I have um, my Spoli and then, you know, my brush at the end. And then I have my concealer, which is going to be the Tarte Tape Shape. And this is in a shade tan. Um, so the first thing that you want to do, if you're using pomade, if you're using um, an eyebrow pencil, it doesn't really matter. The first thing that you're going to want to do is just like brush your eyebrows up. I'm going to brush my eyebrows up. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace. Now, when I'm tracing, I'm only tracing like a, around my natural hairs. Like I'm not, you know, adding or anything like that. I'm literally just tracing around my hairs. So I'm just going to go ahead and doesn't matter if you start with the top or the bottom. Um, just going to go ahead and trace. And when I'm tracing, I'm like kind of, you know, doing it if my eye roll was like per perfect. If that makes sense. So I'm just tracing. I'm not filling in or anything like that right now. I'm just literally tracing. And if you had an eyebrow pencil, you would be doing the same thing. Okay, so now that I just like traced, now I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush to, to kind of like fill in. I'm sorry, I'm like looking into the camera to make sure like you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So if you see me look up, that's why. And then I'm just kind of blending in. That way I can kind of see like if I need to go in anymore. And I'm, I feel like I need to go in just a little bit right here. And then that's pretty much it for the first bra, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same bra. Now, um, or I'm sorry, the, the second, I'm going to go ahead and do the second eyebrow. Um, now you guys need to understand, like, your eyebrows don't, like, have to be, like, identical twins, okay? They're, like, meant to be, like, sisters, you know, but not, like, identical twins. So don't worry about, like, if the other one doesn't look identical to the next. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't work like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just tracing.
If you're a beginner, I would definitely suggest starting with an eyebrow pencil first before, you know, using the pomade because the eyebrow pencil is a little bit easier for you to like trace obviously because it's like point whereas the pomade can get a little bit smudgy like again a uh, uh, little goes a long way most people use a whole lot and they come out with like really really like boxy kind of eyebrows so and I'm sure nobody wants that I mean unless you want that but Your eyebrows is definitely a determining factor, like your eyebrows and your eyelashes. I have like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like lash glue still on my lashes. And I don't know, I've been wearing my lashes like every single day, which I don't normally do. And I need to like get some stuff to remove the glue off. Just haven't yet. I take my lashes and my like eyebrows very serious. Okay, like for real. Like when it comes to my eyebrows and my lashes, they definitely have to be on point. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, with the pomade again I take it serious so like I keep going back and forth and then you want to take your your concealer now with the concealer, like there's two different ways you can do eyebrows. You can do like, you know, your natural look. You can do like a more intense look, which if you do a intense look, you're gonna carve out like the top of your eyebrows and the bottom. Um, today I'm just gonna do a natural kind of look, so I'm not gonna carve out the top. I don't think maybe when I get to carving, I might decide that I wanna carve out both. Also with the concealer, and I said this in my previous videos, in case you didn't watch it though, um, with the concealer, you only wanna go like one or two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. This shade is like probably um, just a shade lighter. Um, if you're going like three to four shades lighter, then that's when you kind of really get a dramatic look. And even with the pomade, like you want to go like a, sh a shade, you know, um, you want to make sure like it's like the same shade as like your, uh, your hair. So like if I had blonde hair, I'm obviously probably not going to use this pomade, you know, obviously that makes sense. But in case it doesn't make sense, like you want to kind of keep it like natural to, to your skin complexion or to, the color of your hair or whatever the case may be so now what I'm gonna do is like carve out the bottom and if you're using Tarte Tape Shape um, again a little bit goes a long way so you don't want to apply a whole lot on your um, brush because then you're gonna be like messed up like I do it all the time it annoys me like if I'm in a rush and then I just grab a whole bunch on there and I for, like forget that you know I don't need a whole lot so I'm literally just carving out the bottom
And normally I would apply this concealer like, you know, a whole lot on my, well I shouldn't say a whole lot, I would normally just carve, put like, you know, the concealer on my lid as like a primer for some like eyeshadow, but I'm just using the little bit that's left on my brush. I'm not going to really apply a whole lot of concealer on my lid because I'm not really about to do anything like as far as eyeshadow because I'm just going to work. I might like throw in some glitter or something, but not anything too serious. And again, if I was going to be one for like a more dramatic look, you know, I'm going to go out and do the same thing with the top. But today I'm just kind of keeping it natural because I am going to work. So I don't really care about, you know, the whole dramatic look today. But like if you see me with some like dark eyeshadow or a smoky eye, I'm nine times out of ten definitely going to carve out the top. Like it's like being said that, you know, no one carves out the top anymore. Like that's like the old way. I personally, as I stated in my previous videos, I do my makeup how I want to do my makeup. It, it depends on completely the look that I'm going for. So if I'm going for a more dramatic look, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I carve out the top and the bottom. But I'm always going to only use like one shade lighter than my um, skin tone. Like I don't really go in like with a really, really um, light shade. And so that's pretty like that's pretty much like it for my eyebrows um again if I wanted to do a more dramatic look I'm gonna go ahead and carve out the top today I'm doing like more of a natural kind of look I'm just probably gonna throw on some like glitter you know um eyeshadow on my lid and I'm just gonna like keep it moving like I'm not really going all out with you know my eyebrows but definitely if I was going like out I'm gonna go ahead and carve out the top I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow and put my lashes on and then I will be right back. Okay, so you guys, this is it um, for the finished look. Um, it was pretty simple, as you guys could see. Um, again, my tips and advice for you guys is to make sure that you're always only going one or two shades lighter as far as concealer goes. Making sure that your um, pomade or your um, eyebrow pencil, whichever you prefer to use, is essentially the same color as your hair. Um, and then if you want to have a more dramatic look, you carve out the top and the bottom. If you want to just go for the more natural look, then you just carve out the bottom. Pretty simple, right? That is it for this, um, tutorial. If you guys have any other, uh, videos that you guys do want me to do, be sure to let me know. Also, um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you're following me on Instagram, Renee Parks. You could just look me up or at Renee.Parks, whichever. Um, but yeah, I am going to be doing another uh, giveaway for New Year's. Um, if you didn't watch my video from a couple days ago for the makeup haul, definitely watch that because that video actually has a bunch of the different items that I'm going to be uh, giving away for New Year's. So other than that, as always, I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching my video.